<clears throat> hey y'all it's your girl Mimi and I am back with another reading we're gonna do things the original style and we're going to tap into divine masculine what is up with divine masculine Man, y'all, I've been through so much shit these last couple of days. But you can't let things take your happiness away. You know, you still have to smile through the bullshit. You still have to get up and do your job. You know, you still have a purpose here in this world. When the devil cannot reach you, he sends his people. Hold on, let me tell my sister I'm doing this with you. Yeah, so what's up with Divine Masculine? What is the energy surrounding my collective's masculine if you aren't the masculine i have more females <clears throat> that watch my channel rather than men so i'm gonna say that we're tapping into our masculines <laughs> everybody stay safe everybody lock your doors it's a security system Take precautions. Get a gun if you have to. Thank Thank you, Holy Angels, Holy Spirit. Give us clear messages surrounding our masculine. So the first card was two of cups, but the second card was the devil. So it's like your masculine love you, your masculine want to be with you, your masculine holds emotions for you, but your masculine is going through a karmic cycle. Your masculine has soul ties with the devil. Your masculine may be a distorted masculine. Your masculine may have addictions, drugs, alcohol, money. Your masculine may be into like occults, like dark magic and sacrifices and shit. Your masculine is in some devil energy. This is crazy because he love you. He love you. But his mind fucked up right now. Thank you, Holy Angels, Holy Spirit. The magician. Didn't I just say that with the devil energy... Your person may be doing like spells and like dark magic. The magician is the manifesting magic card. The magician is the magic card. So your person may be doing spells on you to try to bring you back into his life if y'all are not together. But your person is dipping and dabbling into some evil shit probably trying to manifest you back. Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Your masculine may be feeling unstable right now. Your masculine is going through some shit. He's feeling unstable. He may not have any income, any type of source of income.
because he sold his soul to the devil. Your person has a soul tie with the devil and he's using dark magic to try to manifest you back. But it's really backfiring onto him. It's fucking up his money. But you are his empress. He knows he know who you are. He know who you are. But he also knows that you can't step up to an empress being in devil energy, doing black magic, putting spells on people to try to get them back. Yes, your person knows that you're his empress. But he knows he can't get the Ten of Pentacles with you because you ain't finna accept that shit. You're not accepting no fucking devil. No devil's cup of love. Your person got soul ties with the devil. He know you ain't having that. death yeah your person is not letting go of something your person may not be letting go of their emotions for you your person probably is not letting go of these toxic situations your person is not letting go your person is refusing to move forward maybe he's happy in this devil energy and this toxic energy. This is toxic. Your masculine is in some toxic, some toxic ass energy, but he loves you. Three of Pentacles. So your person want to stay in this energy, knowing you're the empress, and still want to work with you. Your person knows that you're the empress. Your person also knows that you're a master manifester. Your person also loves you and wants to offer this love to you. But if your masculine wants to stay in that devil energy and not put an end to that, that karmic cycle, that soul tie, it ain't no coming towards you, period. You're the empress. Your person feels alone and left out in the cold. Your person feels... Your person has a lot of burdens on his back. Your person is carrying a lot of burdens right now. Your person loves you. Your person want to come towards you. But your person may be intimidated by you because you are the empress, which is preventing him from deading any toxic cycles to work with you. So he's he's feeling left out in the cold and he's holding on to these burdens. Now, these burdens is that devil energy. These burdens is a karmic cycle, drugs, alcohol, money, whatever it is, your person is holding on to these burdens. Let me get one more card. Then we're going to go to the Oracle. Yeah, your person cannot sleep at night. Your person is all up in his head about you. He cannot get you off his mind. Oh. We definitely got to uh, clear the energy after this reading. But your person is making himself feel this way. All, all he got to do is dead the situation and release that toxic soul tie that he's connected to. Release that devil energy about your life. Stop playing with dark magic. Because you can't touch an empress with dark magic. An empress is untouchable.
This may also be like your baby daddy. Your baby daddy is probably your master. Y'all kind of got a child together, a daughter together. And since you're standing in your power and he's still dealing with that devil shit, he's like afraid to come towards you. Not for you. This person is not for you. This person that you think is your masculine, if this resonates with your person, this is not your masculine. This may be a distorted masculine and he's not for you. This person wants to bring nothing but chaos and conflict into your life. Your person doesn't like seeing you happy. Your person doesn't like seeing you stay in your power. So this person may be causing a lot of conflict and chaos in your life. That's that devil energy. Ch chaos and conflict is devil energy. Toxic ass energy. Come on, cards. time to go yes it's time to move forward from this person if you haven't walked away already this person is not for you this person wants to cause chaos and conflict in your life and it's time to go it's time to like literally move forward and stay in your empress status do not allow this person to come back into your life because this person is still in some devilish ass toxic ass energy your person may be happy in this devilish ass energy, but like the card said, not for you. Chaos and conflict, time to go. So this masculine that we are, this masculine that we are channeling, he's not a divine masculine. He's a distorted masculine. You probably thought he was your masculine in the beginning, but no, he's just a distorted masculine. Expect powerful change. So as long as you stay in your power and keep away from this devil energy, powerful change will come to you. Don't let your past hold you back. This devil distorted masculine is your past. Do not allow that person to hold you back. A personal issue reaches resolution. So this, this person may have really been causing chaos and conflict in your life. And it seems like a resolution will definitely be coming soon. So let me get a, a Gypsy Witch card. The key nearby is a certain augury of success, but if surrounded by unlucky cards, the prognostication, prognost prognostication <laughs> is illness. So there may be an illness. So we have illness or success. I don't know who that resonates with, but this this masculine is not divine. See y'all in a minute. 